street. What is going on out here? Hey, are we expecting equipment for the Adult Rich or something? No, absolutely not. Hey, you're striking fear in my heart. What are you doing? Wait, it's Jack bearing gifts. Hi, Jack. <laughs> what is all this stuff? Well, I, I promised Brenda Island, and uh, I'll make good on all my promises. You brought me iron? Uh, as best as I could. We have uh, five dozen oysters on ice in a sealed tub. Fresh cracked crab. Um, oh, and of course, a, a small keg of stout with the uh, requisite crate of imp uh, proper imperial pint glasses. Of course. You gotta be kidding me. What about the glasses? No, no, they're mandatory. Stout doesn't taste the same in anything else. Moving right along, uh, we have uh, three loaves of uh, brown bread. <laughs> Homemade, uh, of course, some of Mrs. Moran's home churned butter. Ah. I'm afraid I got a little carried away. Now, what makes you say that? Well, I remembered to hand off a dozen oysters to Sonny and Lily. Yeah, right. You got carried away. Yeah. Anyway, I knew you'd be working, and uh, I didn't think Brenda would mind sharing. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Uh... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> right. Give it up. There has to be a story about some mysterious Irish woman that explains this whole oyster thing. Right, like who are the Morans and how do you know them? <laughs> well, my father and I were on a bike tour through Ireland. We uh, just climbed one of the steepest hills in the world on the outskirts of Kinvara. We are on our way from uh, Clare to Galway City when we caught up the main road. Saw a sign, the world famous Morans on the weir. <laughs> Arrow pointed down a small road and off to the left, and uh, I never having heard of the Morans or a weir, we became curious, naturally. So we followed this uh, yeah. ratty little trail to a thatched restaurant, and uh, oh. it was wonderful. We ate and drank, and we ate some more. Eventually we attracted the Morans' attention, and uh, they came over and joined us. We've been friends ever since. Didn't they happen to notice that you're a little weird? <laughs> Eccentric. And don't misunderstand, I don't fly oysters in for just anyone. Oh, well, listen, Jack, this is really terrific. Thank My you. pleasure. Please, sit. I cannot believe that you and your father went on a biking trip together. That's so cool that you spend time together like that. It's still one of my favorite things to do, when I can find my father, which is rare. Mm. I used to ride. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, well, strictly as a utilitarian mode of transportation. As you know, Jack, I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, and we don't ride there for... Enjoyment and exercise as much for a deployment of urban assault tactics, you know. Actually, Brenda here is our resident aerobics monster. When I watch her work out, I gotta lay down and take a nap. Stop it. <laughs> That's not true. Don't be so modest. Uh, you know you can go for hours without smudging your makeup. I don't wear makeup when I work out. Figuratively speaking, of course. Am I the only one who was starving around here? Please, let's eat. Pass the butter. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, maybe the four of us could take a bike trip someday. For who? Us plus Ned. Why do you suppose Ned would want to do that? He can barely stand being in a room with you for five minutes. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm not jumping somersaults for his company either, but uh, there's something to be said about becoming familiar with one's opponent. You... You are not his opponent. You know what? Forget about it, all right? I'm wasting my breath. You know why? Because you got a major case of selective hearing. Well, it's uh, worked very well for me so far. Hi. Did you guys forget that I'm still here? Hey, impossible. Hey, you know what would be great? To go up in a glider. I'll arrange it. Just like that? Is there any other way? Perfect. I love a candy man. Speaking of which, hi, honey. Hi. Well, 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 look who's home in the middle of the day. Shouldn't you be off running an empire or something? Well, Jax, that's the nice thing about empires. Sometimes they run themselves. Mm. Of course, you wouldn't know about that, would you? Since when it comes to actually conducting business, as opposed to buying and selling them, you have the attention span of a gnat. Mm. What's all this? Oysters all the way from Ireland. Jack's had them flown in. <laughs> Isn't that a bit excessive? Well, they're quite tasty. Feel uh, free to join us. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Considering the fact that you're in my house, and sitting at my table. See? I wouldn't rule out that bike trip. <clears throat> so what's 
this is about a bike trip. Trust me, you don't want to know. All right. So what are you doing home in the middle of the day? Well, I had this overpowering desire to see my wife. Oh. I didn't realize we'd have a full house. Well, we can always ask them to leave. Politely, of course. Aren't they sweet? <laughs> Is that when my teeth are beginning to hurt? Oh, come on. They inspire me. Listen, I used to break out in hives at the thought of marriage. All that structure and all those rules. I mean, how can you possibly make a contract with someone promising how you're going to feel in 50 years? It's impossible. There's no way. I mean, I barely know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. But you just take one look at them and... I don't know. Kind of looks like a good idea, don't you? <clears throat> I mean, try the uh, brown bread with... Fine film of butter and then some salmon sliver. Oh, but you know what? You have to be careful because the bread breaks up when you spread the butter on it, so you have to put some salmon on it to bind it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jack's just taught us that. Mm. Would you like a demonstration? Oh, I think I can figure it out. It's a nice snack, by the way. Thank you. I'm glad you approved. So it must have cost you a fortune flying all of this in. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Well, enjoy. You leaving? Yes, I have an appointment with the racehorse. Oh, I love horses. Really? Oh, keep that in mind. Bye for now. <laughs>